um, another song that I like, that Cash App. You know what I mean? So I mean, a lot of t- that's <laughs> that's the that's the game right now. You feel me? Can I get some- Cash App? You know what I mean? So Cash App. what made you come up with that song? Um, what made me come up with that song? First, I heard the beat, and it was Twinkie the beat man. You know, shout out Twinkie. He produced the beat. And, you know, just listening to it, I'm like, you know, I was feeling it like, Mm-mm. like, you know what I'm saying? And I was thinking about this guy that he used to, um, that I used to talk to. Mm-hmm. And he would, like, if I was mad, if he was, um, if I was mad at him, he would cash at me, buddy. Oh. <laughs> and he'd be like, stop playing, talk to me. So then I'm like, and then I'll always get over it when he cashed at me, but. Um, that's really where inspiration came from. Like, it was cute, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, cash out. You don't got no cash? Cash out. So, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, this nigga would get mad at you. No. No, no, no. I get mad at him. him. Right. And his response was. Like, I, I'll block his number and he'll write me on Instagram. I'm like, I'm a cash app. You'll block me because he know I love money. So, then I'm like, okay. I'm going to unblock you. No, but he used to be like, oh, I'm going to come give you the money. I'm like, no, cash at me first. I don't care. <laughs> like, cash at me, I don't believe you. Because, you know, if he come see me, no, cash at me first. Now. Right. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I um, used to be getting a lot of cash out. So, I just put my experiences in the song. Let's go back to Cash App real quick, right? Because mm-hmm. um, Young Miami, she was on The Breakfast Club, right? Mm-hmm. And she had mentioned that when you talking to a nigga, he should be, you know, kicking up bread. He should be paying for everything. You know what I mean? So what do you, like, as a female, you know what I mean? Um, what can you say about that that situation? Okay, so my, my experiences and my brain process thought might be different from a lot of people because, like I said, I've been dancing for all my life, so... I'm used to men giving me money. Like, that's just what I expect, <laughs> honestly. Like, if we go out on a date, I'm not paying for nothing. If we go out, like, we go together, I'm definitely not paying for nothing. <laughs> no rent. <laughs> no bills, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know it sounds really bad, but it's just, I don't know. I've always been taken care of so that's just my mindset that's my process like if you you know if you ain't got no cash nigga cash up cash up <laughs> that's a new shit but no cash i think up. i think as a man like all together back in the days it was always like the man is a provider you know what i'm saying he take care of the family usually before women didn't work it was like, okay you stay at home your man go take care of everything so i feel like you know, like just because the time change, yeah, we got our own power, we got our own this, we got our own that. But at the same time, if you're a man and you want that respect, you want that, you know what I'm saying? You want to claim like I'm the household. Mm-hmm. You got to do what you got to do. Because now if I'm paying the bills and we're going to have, when I'm mad, I'm kicking you out. <laughs> like, nigga, get the fuck out of my house. Yeah. I ain't paying the bills of this bitch. That's you know what I'm saying? But when you the man and you know you hold that shit down, girl. You get your ass on the couch. This is my motherfucking house. You go stay with your mama. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just feel like as a man, that's what you're supposed to do. Have you ever taken care of a man? Um. Yes, I have oh, actually. Yeah. But there was an exception. There was a reason. He was light skin, no, but that's not why. You say was he light skin? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, Zan popped out the corner. Hold on, Zan. Sneak step no. back, Zan. <laughs> what happened was, okay, this was a situation. He was taking care of me first. That's how we met. It was all good, whatever, whatever. He went to jail. So he was in jail for like five, six months. You know what I'm saying? Held it down, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. When he got out of jail, you know, he was fucked up. So it was like, well, I'm going to just leave. You know what I'm saying? Like, at that point, we together i fuck with you and i know you're gonna get back on your feet Mm -hmm. and everything that i did he gave back to me he said it from the beginning like listen everything you do i was paying i was paying bills car insurance all type of shit Mm. we go out to eat i get him the money first so the one like (laughs) i was that to make him feel good yeah like okay here take this (laughs) but every single dollar i spent i got back Mm. when he got back you know what I'm saying? But you know, it took a while. He, you know, he's a hustler. So, you know, you gotta, if you, you know, you a hustler, somebody can lose it all and know how to get it back. Yeah. You know, sometimes it take a while. Sometimes you need some help. And I don't mind helping if I know I'm gonna get it back. 
Like, so I ain't just want to meet no nigga and just start taking care of him. That will never happen. I don't give a fuck how light skin you is. <laughs> I don't even like light skin niggas. All right, so that was going to be my next question. So. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> no offense. I'm just team dark skin all the way. All right, so um, light skin, dark skin. You just said dark skin. Damn. Yeah, I mean, nothing wrong with light. I mean, light is, you know, I feel like, you know what? Honestly, my preference of skin color is green and blue. So, green and blue, we can make it do what it do. Could you date a regular <laughs> nigga? Like a regular, when I say regular, like not a broke nigga. Right, just but regular. Not a rich nigga. Like, um, no. Not. Like, I'm just <laughs> being honest. Like, I'll be real. I tried it before. I met this guy. He was really nice. I liked him. And we liked each other. But it just got to a point. It's like, when you're just used to being catered to, it's just hard. Like, I feel like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to feel like my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, we go out. We can't buy no bottles. Yeah. Like, we got to drink at the bar. Like, <laughs> Hold on. Oh my God, she from Calabasas now, bro. No, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I have, I, I've always been popular. Yeah. So I kind of have an image to uphold. So now if I go to the club and I'm just in a regular population, people gonna be looking at me crazy. Like, what the fuck she doing? <laughs> Right there, you Jesus know what I'm saying? saying? We can't pop bottles. Right, like we can't be no like when I go head. to a club, I want VIP. I want to sit in the couch. I got a red bottle. My feet gonna be burned if I stand up all night. Okay, I need to know. I walk in, <laughs> I'm sitting cool. You know what I'm saying? Rose, like come in, like you know what I'm saying? And that's just, I know what it. it I feel like regular guys should date regular girls. Mm. And it's levels. Meek said it the best. It is. Levels. You know, it's nothing wrong with that though. Like if you're a regular, if you know you have this, you know, amount or whatever, stay within your bracket. Don't be trying to get the girl with a hundred K followers. Like it's just not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You know what I'm saying? Like That's funny. definitely.